So here we are. I got Daydream running on the Galaxy S7 Edge. I already connected up my controller. I'm running on Android 7.0, the latest nugget. Well, not the latest, the latest is 7.1.1. But anyways, I just want to do a quick demonstration on the Galaxy S7 Edge to show people that Google Daydream is working with no problems for me anyways. So I just got to push the button on the controller, hold it. And it'll recenter. And then it'll go into the application I just started. As you'll see in a minute, patience is always appreciated. I'm going to make a an actual instructional video on how to do this and achieve this with your phone. It may work with other Android devices running 7.0. So as you can see, this is me sliding my finger around on the little trackpad. And it's working. Um, I can slide left faster and it seems to go. You click on things. It works. No problem. Go back. I'm going to push the home button. And boom. It works as you can see. A lot of people are saying they can't get into this on anything other than a Pixel phone or a specified phone that's supposed to work like the Nexus. But as you can see on my Galaxy S7 Edge, I am running pretty good. Seems to be no issues. Controllers recognized. As you can see, oranges and black, all this good stuff. Yeah, it is what it is. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm not going to run the movie here, but... You can see that this is all running. If I wanted to, I could start up a movie. But I'm probably not going to. Go back to the home menu. Um, Play Store. Whoa, that's a little different. That is different, must say. It's so Google Daydream running on the Galaxy S7 Edge. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be making an instructional video real soon on how this is all achieved. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff because this is possible on more Android phones, I think. So let's get this compatibility out there. Take care.